it's Chris and I have a 1957 Oldsmobile that I'm trying to make some replacement parts for so I thought it'd be a good example to show what you can do with shiny chrome parts with the Rebel Point Pop 3D scanner. I have an old tube radio that I want to replace with a new radio that can use a USB drive and has FM so I found Retro Sound makes one and I'm gonna 3D print the bezel and knobs so that it fits in the existing space. I have a Pop 2 that has more resolution and accuracy, but I wanted to see what I could do with the original Pop scanner. The first thing I did was to coat the parts with some a white spray. I used spot check, but you can also use Asa Blue. I mounted it in black clay on its side so I could see both sides of it. I'm recording in feature mode and I'm using Seb and Jim's uh, feature ring which helps uh, with the alignments. I'll put a link to the feature ring in the description. The radio bezel has to be changed to match the new electronic radio but I wanted it to look as much as possible like the original so I scanned it and used it for the outside dimensions. There are two types of knobs, the inner and outer knobs, and again I had to, I wanted them to look like the original on the outside, but then I had to set the shaft sizes and stuff to work with the new radio. I'm using Revo Studio to clean up the scans. Um, I don't need to merge anything because I'm just using the scans as a template and I'm going to create new CAD to get and uh, use calipers to get the dimensions correct. I'm going to use Geomagic Design X to do the CAD work. I loaded the scan in and I defined the coordinate system. I picked the view down the axis here, then I sketched out the outline here. The sketch can be extruded to make the back plate. I then used the plane and defined where the two knob holes go through and I did this so I can come up with some vectors. I'm going to use these vectors here to rotate a sketch around to create the uh, inside feature and outside feature here. I sketched the outside here and then I revolved it. I sketched the other side too and revolved that. Now I sketched out the inside that's going to be cut out and I revolved it. cut on it and cut it out. I'm going to sketch out the other inside here and revolve it. And then I'll cut it out. Next I'm going to cut out the inside radio insert 
and I measured this with the uh, uh, caliper. And I put fillets in each of the corners here. Finally, I'm going to put these little standoff blocks on the back of the part. I'm not go going to go into all the detail, but I used the scan uh, of the old radio face to create the new radio face that will hold the new radio. I also used the scan to create the new knob, the outer knob. And finally I used the scan to do the inner knob. I used a friend's high quality 3D printer to make some really nice smooth parts and I'm using spray chrome paint for now until I find a better way to chrome the plastic 3D printed parts. I've shown that you can use the original Revacoint pop scanner to scan some shiny parts and I've uh, used that to design some replacement CAD parts and 3D print them and I'm pretty happy with the result. So if this was helpful, please hit like and subscribe and have a great day. Thank you.